Okay, I'm working on my TS850. Got it torn apart here in the bench. We're in a motor home. We don't have a lot of room to work, so I just do as best I can. Um, I was examining the board looking for problems, and I happened on to this L37 that has uh, been burned, and that is connected to C187. I haven't located it yet. Maybe I'll notice it while we're working here. Looks like that brown cap right there. Uh, I've always told people over the years, if you let a piece of electronic set, electrolyte caps sometimes will fail. And they fail into a short from what I've seen. So anyway, that inductor went out. And if you look at the schematic, uh, without the lamp probably, but if you look at that schematic, you can see right there is L37. And it's nothing could put current through that unless C187 shorted. So that's uh, kind of a given as far as I can see. That signal goes down here to um, CN, I believe, stands for connector, CN 12 and 13. That's uh, these two connectors here. 12 is the white one, 13 is the black. If I chase the 13 around, it actually ends up over here at the, um, the phone jack. So this probably didn't, didn't cause any kind of problem until the other day I was testing out my Heil microphone. I plugged it in the phone jack, that's probably what took out the coil. So that's one problem. Uh, another problem I noticed over here is this C196. If you look on the circuit board you can see all this crud on the circuit board. And you look at C136, uh, 196, you can see it looks like it may have been leaking, it's kind of yellow. You look at these other caps, they're all shiny aluminum on the top, except for that one. And that one I, uh, probably shorted, and I'm going to replace it no matter what, it appears to be leaking. I also noticed one over here somewhere, if I can locate it, right there, C124, you can see some kind of, looks like a water ring or something on top of it, I suspect that also leaked. I haven't used this radio for quite a few years because we moved on to a boat and the boat had a TS-50 on it. So I stuck this in a watertight box and put it in the V-berth and just left it setting around. So, like I say, you leave them setting, they'll go bad. So anyway, I know these capacitors have a problem with the leakage in this radio and there's also apparently some some surface mount. Uh, I don't know where, I haven't looked for them on uh, some of the other boards, I think on the other side of the radio, I don't have the other cover off. Those will leak and have to be replaced maybe. Anyway, so I gotta find that coil and find that capacitor. Now one thing I will mention before I get done is when you look at the top of these capacitors, they have an X on them usually. Uh, if they're at all swollen, they're a bad cap. Just replace them. Don't even, don't even question it. Those things should be perfectly smooth, and they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be milky covered, colored like that one. So it's pretty obvious that one has issues, and you can see it on the circuit board. I'm, I'm pretty confident that's where that's from. This is the IF unit in the radio. It's a, uh, on the schematic. It's a 48. X, uh, X48 and you look in the schematic the X48 is the IF unit so anyway that's it for now I'll keep it short I'll try to post some more TS850 problems and solutions uh, but I'll try to keep them short bye bye